Yeah, probably, yes. Yes, I think we do. A little, a little too much. Um, yes, definitely. Saving water in homes reduces the amount of water needed to be pumped and treated, which saves energy. Using less energy reduces our carbon emissions, which can cause climate change. Conserving water will also help protect people against droughts. Using less water also helps the environment because less water needs to be taken from rivers and lakes. We need water to live. Not only people, but plants. I mean, yeah, we need basically food and water and sunshine. Mm -hmm. So we need it to live. So we don't want to lose the water that we have. There is a, only a finite amount of water um, on earth and even though um, you know the water is always being redistributed we still have to find a way to to conserve the water um, especially since a lot of the water is polluted or contaminated and can't really be used. It, 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 it can be considered a limited resource you know in the world and you have a growing population and the demands for water increase every year plus you have a changing climate which some places become much drier, perhaps some wetter, but um, all these things are concerns for the future to support, you know, a growing healthy population. And of course, clean water, you gotta have clean water, you know, for a lot of people. Newer faucets, shower heads, and toilets have been designed to use less water. Energy Star makes clothes washers that use less energy. Using too much energy to treat water is a major concern. There are many new products that are designed to save energy and water, but still work just as effectively, if not better, such as sprinkler systems that track the weather so plants are only watered when needed, or toilets that use hardly any water when they flush, or faucets and shower heads that save water. Turn the water off when you're not using it, like when you're brushing your teeth, you don't need to leave the water running the whole time. I believe showering takes less water than a bathtub, so you can conserve when showering. There is using rainwater for things if you have a big barrel or if you are green. We can take shorter showers, we can use low flow faucets and we can use more water efficient dishwashers. I think it's a conscientious effort of um, how long you run a faucet, how long you run a sprinkler outside if you're watering the lawn. Does the lawn need to be watered? Um, how long you take a shower? How many times you take a shower? How frequently? Always upgrading when you when you upgrade your appliances, whether it's a new toilet or, or a sink or anything like that, you should always consider uh, water saving devices and even um, it should be encouraged, I think, even on a on a government level, of what types of uh, new toilets, for example, are on the market, so that everyone gets on the same page in conserving water with every flush.